Buller, and welcome to Season 2, Episode 23 of Breakfast Bites by TeWovoSports.com. A wrap of Pacifica People's Sports on this warm Saturday morning, 23rd July, 2022. Coming to you from the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. We start with the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham uh, uh, in a couple of days' time with uh, the Rugby Sevens Day 1 on the 29th of July, where in the women's uh, session on Day 1, Australia plays South Africa, Fiji versus Scotland, England plays Sri Lanka, New Zealand versus Canada, um, and in the men, Australia take on Jamaica, Kenya, Uganda, New Zealand versus Sri Lanka again, England versus Samoa, South Africa versus Malaysia, Scotland take on Tonga, Canada versus Wales, and Fiji versus Zambia. In football, eight times Euro Women's Champions Germany beat Austria 2 0 to move into the Euro Women's semi finals alongside England after Lena Magul's clinical 25th minute strike and an optimistic finish by Alexandra Pop in the last play of the day at Brentford Stadium in London, where I imagine um, Ben Ryan was watching too. The Austrian girls in bright Tongan red jerseys were so unlucky, hitting the woodwork three times. And speaking on Tongan red, the uh, Tongan Tala national netball team created history, finishing as the numero uno netball nation in Oceania by winning the championship undefeated after belting the Cook Islands 69-44 last night. The Fijian Pearls came in second after pipping Samoa 45-43 and so both Tonga and Fiji qualify from Oceania for the Netball World Cup 2023 in South Africa. Well done girls. Meanwhile in rugby in New Zealand nothing's changed. That's right, absolutely nothing. In typical New Zealand Rugby Football Union fashion, they've thumbed their noses up at their fans after the Ireland Test Series disaster, retaining Ian Fozzie Foster as the coach and Sam Kane as their captain for the upcoming rugby championship. Foster's 36-man squad named yesterday includes the same old, same old, with at least half a dozen guys who uh, are along for a free ride. Dane Coles, 35 years old at hooker, too small. After 81 tests, he's, uh, he's done his dash. And the props, Nepolau Lala, Angus Tauvau, and Ofa Tungafasi. Pretty much all the same blocks of wood. Low skills and too slow. And they were badly shown up by the Irish front row, who are very uh, nimble, much smaller, much more skills, a lot faster and a lot more effective around the park. So why they picked these three guys, all the same build and makeup, up uh, just uh, belies belief. Brody Retallick, after 95 tests, he's burnt out and no longer the force he once was. Also badly shown up by the young Irish locks who ran rings around him in every facet of the uh, tests they played. And finally, Sam Kane. Sorry, but he's just not an all-black, and certainly he should not be the captain. Again, after 80 tests, he's done his dash, and really should be put out to pasture. My all-blacks, match day 23. Number one, George Bauer, hooker, Samisoni Tokeao, Tokeaho. Number three, Ethan De Groot. Four, Sam Whitelock. Five, Scott Barrett. The loose trio, Dalton Papali'i at blindside. Shannon Frizzell, open. And Adi Sever at number 8 and captain. And my halfback, Folau Fakatava. Number 10, Richie Maunga, the best uh, fly half in New Zealand in the Super Rugby competition for like three years running now. Uh, Caleb Clark on one wing. David Havili at inside centre. Rico Iwane at centre. Sevo Reese on the other wing. And Will Jordan at fullback. The reserves, Cody Taylor, Aidan Ross. Tupo Vai, Akira Yawane, and Finlay Christie, with um, Bowden Barrett and Jordy Barrett, two Barrett brothers, uh, for the backs out wide. In the NRL, Queensland and Newcastle star Kalen Ponga 
has had a horror run of head injuries lately. The night skipper was concussed in the game against the Roosters last night, left the field and did not return after failing his third head injury assessment out of five HIAs this season. You just got to wonder if it's worth all the money. And finally in boxing, boxing legend Manny Pacquiao, the only boxer to win uh, a World Series title, uh, world titles in eight weight divisions, says the only reason that he's fighting again in December against Korean YouTuber DKU in an exhibition fight is to raise money for one of his charities which donates homes to the poor. Go Manny Go. Just killed my girlfriend's call there. For, tele to, for TableOverSports.com, I'm Carlton Kamea. Malo, Vinaa, and thank you. Please hit the subscribe button below if you'd like to receive more Pacifica sports highlights on Breakfast Bites. And thank you, Tumas, for all your support.